The Riddler's Mind Worm is a mount based off a series of clues in the World of Warcraft Chronicle Volume 1 book and requires you to read a series of pages strewn around Azeroth in a very particular order. Follow the order shown in this video as the pages appear sequentially once the required page beforehand is read. If at any time when searching for the pages for this mount you run into a trolling player who's laying on top of the page, just use the group finder tools to enter a phase with other players so that they will disappear. Your journey will begin on the first floor of the Ledger Main Lounge in Dalaran, on the southeastern side of the room on a bookshelf. Read page 9, which offers the hint of sea, spirit, and self. You will then need to head to the Twilight Grove of Central Duskwood in the Eastern Kingdoms. The second page, page 78, can be found on a small bench to the northeast of the portal in this area and offers the clue, First of Lords to Fall. The Lord being referenced here is Ragnaros, the Fire Lord, who can be accessed in the Firelands Raid of Southern Hyjal in Kalimdor. Ragnaros is the final boss of this dungeon, and you can find the next page, page 161, on the northwestern side of his room. The next clue says, The Wind, the Eye. The fourth clue, page 655, can be found to the east of the lost city of the Tolvir in Oldham, which is in southern Kalimdor. Between two palm trees on the ground, page 655 can be found. Note that this is very close to the water. Page 655 offers the clue, The Plume, the Tomb, a Scarab Moon. The fifth clue can be found in the Siege of Orgrimmar Raid, which can be accessed underneath the Mogushan Palace in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms in Pan. Daria. The fifth page, page 845, can be found on the southwestern side of the room in which the Shah of Pride spawns. This is the fourth boss of this raid. Page 845 offers the clue in snow, sand, and stone. The sixth clue requires you to head to the Caverns of Time, which can be accessed directly from Dalaran and the Broken Isles. Just head to the center of the city and take the portal to the portrait room. Then, take the portal to the Caverns of Time in the Chamber of the Guardian. When you arrive at the Caverns of Time, you can either speak with the Steward of Time to catch a ride down to the center of the cave, or just fly down yourself. For this clue, you will need to enter the Well of Eternity on the western side of the Caverns of Time. Near the final boss, Manoroth, you will find the sixth clue, page 1127, on the southeastern side of the Well of Eternity inside of the dungeon. It will be to the left on a first step of a large, sharp object that separates segments of the stairs around the Well of Eternity. Page 1127 offers the clue, Behold the Battle, Unblinking. The seventh clue requires you to head to the Shadow Pan Monastery and Kun Lai Summit of Pandaria. There will be two large tiger statues south of the monastery. The next clue can be found at the base of the western statue. Look between the feet of the statue to find page 2351, which offers the clue, Bejeweled Watch. The eighth and final clue again requires you to head to Oldham and Southern Kalimdor. There will be four statues in this area. Page 5555 can be found at the base of the statue third from the north, or the one just north of the southernmost. Page 5555 offers the clue, Ray of Sunrise. You have now discovered all of the clues and are ready to get your mount. Head to Westfall in the Eastern Kingdoms and head to the long shore of the northwestern side of the zone. Inside of a dilapidated boat, you will find a box named the Gift of the Mind Seekers. Interact with this box to obtain your new mount. I personally played no role in discovering this mount, but according to Wowhead, the Secret Finding Discord community is to thank for this finding.